Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. We gotta talk about doing steampunk and shit as a business. I really need to drink. <laughs> well, if they don't let me bring the alcohol in, I've had communion before. Us. <laughs> this panel should actually be called Steampunk as a Business. Don't do it. <laughs> I wonder if he realizes he has a panel day with me. He should. Hope so. He had something. If not, he'll figure it out. I think, I think he had something to drop on the table. Cedric said, get your, Cedric said, get your punk ass here. Right? So, if he's not here in a minute. I'll just put this right here so I can hit the Just in case. <laughs> well, we still got five minutes, and then I'm going to start texting and jerking messages. <laughs> <laughs> if, if worst case scenario, we'll go find somebody with a radio to try to do. Like Thomas, you're like, bring wine. Tobias, too, at least. Let's Supposedly. <laughs> but have you met Tobias, so guys? Because it yeah. showed yeah. anywhere earlier. Yeah. Make sure you call him by his proper Roman name. <laughs> Tobias, them guys. <laughs> Please tell me that's full of wine. Vodka. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you have now become my favorite person ever. <laughs> Come on, Thomas, get it up the ramp. I know you're old. <laughs> Dude, you could roll it up the handicap ramp and park it right here. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> Not the worst idea you've ever come up with. Check your foot, boy. <laughs> Put the batteries in, man. We talked about this. I got a cool light that goes on when I press That's how we got dropped by the death laws last time, man. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't put the batteries in. <sighs> oh, we still have one minute. We still have one minute. <laughs> and no device. You know we called it you know what we called him on the show? Because he was first one to leave? Please. Good bias. <laughs> <laughs> that's just wrong, bro. That that's just I know, so I keep wrong. Wrong. <laughs> called James the haircut, because he had this perfect haircut. <laughs> And I can't text him because my phone's back to the table being used as a mobile hotspot. Yeah, it says my, my, my phone's like my girl my girlfriend left her phone somewhere last night. You missed me giving her crap a minute ago. She was still reading the pamphlet. It's like Amy, we know you can't read it. So she flips it over. I was like, no, 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 let me see that. I was like, no, there's no pictures. There's no line. And then she started pouting. That sh- no, no, no pouts. No pouts. Stop. No pouts. None of us can read. It's the apocalypse. This is the this is first chance you get to actually show off the book, so I'm going to call it the police article. Why don't you roll it up over here? Uh, because I only have a learner's permit. I'm not good with it. <laughs> I'm like, like a bam on at the end. There were so many comments I could say to that last day. Uh, <laughs> you left that wide. So that's your best buy that you were... That's the best buy I was working on. That's the Fallout best buy. Uh, cool thing about the Fallout best buy working on. So I thought maybe I'll do some, a little bit of a paint job and maybe some stickers. And then it turns out some friends of mine work at Bethesda Games who sell all of them. They're like, want to 3D print some stuff from the game? I'm like, Dude, you want to talk about Uber geeks? Yeah. Bethesda? We built, we built the, the only 
Bethesda Bless Securitron, full size Securitron with the, the monitor and everything. And we were and George was worried about the, the, the copyright of Bethesda was being mad at us. Dude, the second we took that over there and we sent them pictures, you thought they were five year old kids who just got their parents' credit card and came to school. As long as you're not selling their, 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 their stuff, they're like, oh my god, um, the Bethesda Bless Securitron game is called owned by Linda Carter and her husband. Yep. So Wonder Woman owns Bethesda Games. Why do you think she was just one of the singers in one of them? She asked yeah. if she could have yeah. a character. Yeah, she's I know she's got, she's got, uh, when the woman that owns you says, can I sing, you say yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and they've been seeing pictures of the progress, and supposedly she likes it too. So, that, that, you know, senpai knows me. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm chuffed about it. I just recently <laughs> looked up, uh, some guy called, um, messaged me, he goes, we can't find any other reference to 3D printed modded motorcycles ever. Go so far. He's like, this might be the first. I'm like, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is a 3D printing still so new. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if that's the first one done. Yeah, it, it, we, they scanned, uh, one of the guys came up and scanned the bike, and, and, and I, I came up with some designs and boot. He just did some amazing stuff. There's jet intakes and exhausts. And, all this stuff, and I did graphic design for it. Um, and there's a rumor, there's a rumor that in one of their newer properties, there will be a Vespa sitting there. Sweet. Because <laughs> Vespas are cool, damn it. I would have got to get a statue. I think it would be a cool Vespa. Yeah. I need one with a bubble. <laughs> a really <laughs> tall bubble. You need a Pokemobile. <laughs> Post apocalyptic Pokemobile. Dude, you need to make that. It's <laughs> <laughs> like people pay us to do this. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. Yeah, we owe you a budget. Here's well, you know, the minute's up. Business thing. Business. Here's, business, a budget. here's one of the biggest business things. People do this to, to I'm sure, all of us all the time. You should make this. Yeah. Are you paying for it? You got a checkbook? Because, you know, you should make another giant robot. There's $10,000 spent, and you're not paying for it. And I should make it because I love art. You know, that's what I have stuff, that's what I have a refrigerator door for. <laughs> art that I love. It's on my refrigerator door. And with me, since, since my lovely, my lovely longer hippie here is not married, um, with me, in order to spend that kind of money to build shit, I have to go to the angry blue haired lady and say, <laughs> hey, honey, I need money for a blank. And then she glares at me for an hour. <clears throat> well, there's a moratorium on me having good ideas, so. <laughs> With but there are right. solutions to this, and that's where you guys can help out as the Patreon pages. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't have a Patreon. I had a Patreon for a short period of time, and I actually told people, "Look, I have not been keeping up. Please stop. I'm done." And then sixty-five dollars appeared in my account. No, please. I, I, I told. I really am being a nice guy here. I don't want your money because I'm not producing because I've been busy with, you know, work and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Patreon then, takes a lot of work. And that's, and that's the other thing people don't realize is, I mean, we could do the Kickstarters, we can do the Patreons, we can do that stuff, but as artists, we feel, at that point, we feel obligated to, we have to produce a certain level, and if we don't, if, okay, if you got an artist that doesn't feel bad because they're not producing for you and you're, you're supporting their, their project, right. shoot them in the head. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, I've, you end up getting depressed and playing video games and learning how Fallout works. Yeah, because <laughs> 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 I can't do anything. I'm nothing. Else. And I will say, yeah, I will, and I will say, I'm sure Thomas can, can can back me up on this one. Doing the your hobby as your business and becoming your your primary source of income, um, think long and hard before you do it. Really sit back and think about. Okay, yes, I love building blank. Do I want to solely make it where building blank means I eat? If I don't build blank, my rent doesn't get paid, my phone bill doesn't get paid, there's no food on the table. Because that means that, that takes doing this for fun now becomes mandatory. Um, I'm sure he's walked into it, Charles has walked into it, I did it, where you look at your table and your tools and you're like, why am I doing this? I could go get a $30 an hour job doing blank. Thomas has got more letters after his name and he could go make a shit ton of money. You know, I retired from the fire department as a firefighter paramedic and it, you, you really have to, are you willing to take your hobby and make a risk 
of looking at that hobby five years, 10 years down the road and wanting to walk away from it and never touch it again. Making one of these is like, you're, it's genius and you're loving it. After the fifth to 20th of yep. these, you're trying to figure out if it can actually work. Yeah. <laughs> is it this way or this way? I just want to bitch. I don't want to hurt myself. Yeah. Or if you get hired, you know, oh my God, I got hired by industry to, to do a movie. This is really damn cool. And if you're sitting in a fetal position at three o'clock in the morning, three months in, because you just built 969 pieces of leather in a two week period, you got to start thinking about your life choices at that point. Or, and every, like, we've both done movie work and Hollywood stuff and everything, and everyone thinks, oh man, you must be rolling in it. Oh, from, yeah. Yeah. Who told you that? Because, <laughs> I, first of all, I don't know about him, but I am, I, I'm, 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 I'm genetically predisposed to be an artist because I'm so bad with money. <laughs> That's why I have a wife. I, I have, I, there's a moratorium on Vespas I'm allowed to buy, because I'm, I'm picking up one on the way home when I drive. That's three Vespas and one electric scooter. Um, how many asses do I have? <laughs> Ooh, this, but this Vespa's a different Vespa, really? <laughs> You see, what most people don't realize is, oh, you work for you work for industry. You do TVs and movies. They don't realize that ninety eight point six percent of that that income goes to overhead because Tandy leather ain't cheap. No. You know, and when like for Into the Badlands, when we walked in, I'm dropping on an average. I think per week was somewhere around thirty five thousand dollars. That's handy left. They love me. He shows up and they're like, I'm putting the kids through college. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, yes. I used to make that joke that I put the Tandy CEO's kids through college until I ran into a lady one day in Dallas. I made that joke. She started laughing. She goes, you know who my dad is, right? <laughs> and that was the CEO's daughter. She was the manager of the Dallas store. She's like, oh. She's like, no, thank you for college. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I live in God for God forsaken central Pennsylvania. There, there's nothing there. Pennsylvania is built like this. You've got Pittsburgh on one end, um, Philadelphia on the other, and South Wales or Alabama in the middle. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's, 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 it's like that. there's not a lot there. And I live in the center of that in Harrisburg. So they got rid of the tandy leather at one point. So oh, this isn't that great. And they thought everyone would go to other tandies, which were a little further away and all that stuff. And they noticed. Those people just quit leatherworking. They were like, wait a minute, what? And within nine months, there was a brand new tandy leather. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was just, I was, I had a girlfriend who lived in, in um, she lived down in Georgia. So I go to the Atlanta tandy when I go to visit her. But I was nervous because I lived in Harrisburg. Part of the reason I stayed there is I have tandy leather walking distance from my house. Oh, boy. Uh, that's <laughs> really nice. I mean, I, I go, I'm, I'm a little low on rivets. I'm just do, 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 do. And they, they know me well enough. Um, one of the good things, if you're working for yourself, is make good relationships. Yes. Oh, make yeah. allies, not enemies. This, this, I never go in there going, do you know who I am? Or yes. anything like that. I never have an ego about this. It, th this is their territory. They're, I go in there and go, hi, I'm just wondering you got. And they do things that they're not supposed to do. Are we supposed to be in dress uniform today? Okay. Or you were going to frack and become the captain. <laughs> <laughs> They, um, they will actually hold pieces Both of chair. leather because they think I'll like them. <laughs> They're like, you want this type of stuff. Um, they've given me credit when I didn't have credit at one point. They, they were great. But that was because I built a relationship with people. Uh, and of course, I'm putting some of their kids through college. <laughs> <laughs> Most of their kids through college. Oh, look, it's wine up now. Uh, Wine o'clock? It's one. Dude, down for New Orleans, it's always wine o'clock. <laughs> I have not. He's I'm, not wrong. He's not wrong. I, because of the. Uh, what's the. It's, it's about time! We're on a schedule here. We're going to drink all day and go start in the morning. Oh, man, now we got to put up with that ego the rest of the day. Thanks a lot. <laughs> he, thinks he, he thinks he gets drinks because we like him. Because no, we like it's it. called hot glass when I'm Personality. Bye, boots. <laughs> it's only for the entertainment. It really is. This is amazing. You know, we had a start time, right? Uh, yes. You I know what? You know why you got voted off the island in the first episode. Because <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't hit on it. I hit on Kate. Yeah, but I had better. Then who? Kate or me? Kate. 
By the way, this is how you tell steampunk friends. <laughs> you didn't tell them about the roast idea, right? No. Not yet. Okay. And I haven't told them out on that yet. We'll get there. By the way, we have a secret feed. Ah. Uh, <laughs> next. Why is my butter? <laughs> it probably should. It should just clench. Huh? So let's ask you guys if you guys are if you guys are in for this. What we're talking about with Diana and the Wild Wild West Con people is each year they will elect from you guys a top builder kind of thing in the community to roast at that year's Wild West Con. <laughs> My friend I'm would, safe. Go would be shattered. <laughs> And you guys, I mean, would you guys be willing to sit there and watch one of us get roasted? Okay, those smiles. Oh man! Okay, okay. Like all your creditors <laughs> back is away. That a stupid question. It, 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 for one, it's a stupid question because when does it stop? <laughs> <laughs> can we, we do that? Can, anyway? we, can we all just go up and get roasted, like individually? But whoever lasts the longest before like hitting a, a red escape button, like I can't think of anymore. Okay, only if we have somebody cos the the, the modern of the panel had to cosplay Poe. And from? Yeah, from... Uh, yeah, no, from Ultra Carbon. From Ultra Carbon. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, that's fair. I've only seen one episode. So before. good. That's all? Slacker? I haven't been home. I mean, I've only, seen, I've only seen like three. And a tablet, and a phone. And I die. I, I don't do that. I have friends who do that all the time. And I'm looking at them. They're like, well, oh, don't text and drive. Don't watch movies and drive. <laughs> 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 If they didn't want you to watch and movies and drives, why did they put a television a, screen on the dash? Guy translucent a, a heads-up display, ref, uh, counter-reflected, so you did reverse reflection. So he could watch, I said, let me check on the big list of, no! Credit <laughs> 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 through incest and folk dancing is me making this dance. I've seen you folk I know! I've seen you folk <laughs> That's why it's number two now! It <laughs> got moved up. It yeah. got moved up. Have you all heard about the random weird thing where one of the north central states is actually has billboard campaigns about well, don't uh, enjoy certain kinds of movies and drive? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, I draw a line, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the people that are driving around me don't enjoy it, they just have poor taste. There's, <laughs> there's, <laughs> not driving there's no kids in here, is there? <laughs> All right, we're checking. We're All checking. right, we're good. Yeah, that looks young. Yeah, that with the beer looks really young. <laughs> Fantastic, by the way. Yeah, by the way, I'm impressed. But he's from Mississippi. It don't count. <laughs> That's a flavor. Is that just what you said? Yeah. 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 So doing, doing this for a living, back to yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, get, let's get off the tangent dragon. Oh uh, yeah, we do that. <laughs> um, a lot of people. The the big thing I've uh, asked, people ask is how do you make the jump from the day job. Uh, some people screaming, are like, yeah, screaming, <laughs> yeah, screaming, and ah, um, uh, make the jump from the day job. Like some people retire from something so they have a supplemental income, or some people get married so they have a supplemental income. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you missed <laughs> us. <laughs> um, I didn't get that. Memo. At one point, for uh, well, one point for two years, I had a day job working in a cabinetry and sign shop, just forty hours a week, all that stuff. And then I was coming home, and then I had another day job, making leather work and stuff yep. like that, and corsetry and everything. We were working every weekend. I had to threaten, my ex-wife was such a workhorse, Central Pennsylvania workhorse. I mean, yeah, she had to fit in her mouth. It was, it was, it was, it was, that was something that, yeah. I know. But, <laughs> that was I got those pictures. I had to threaten to cut the cord on the sewing machine to get her to stop. Dead serious. This becomes an obsession when you work through stuff. Yeah. I wish I was kidding. If she was here, she would laugh and say, yeah. I woke her up. She was sitting up in this. We're making corsets all the time. She was sitting up in bed. I swear to God, it's still hard to read your dead man. <laughs> That's off Evie, Evie, in her sleep. Evie has, and Evie has pictures of Zombie and I laying on our, on our, on our blocks with, with the piece we were tooling with our, our hand on one hand, tool on the other, and we're just laying there sleeping. <laughs> Because we've been going for 18, 24 hours. Yeah, and that's and that's the thing. Like Thomas was saying, when, when we you own your own company, sure you can ask for vacation, but if well, it doesn't get done, money. you don't eat. I'm having pro. I, I work with I work with a lot of younger people because I am stupid to date anyone. But but then again, you know, <laughs> yeah, um, great right work here. if you can get it. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, get it but, uh, but it is very. Trying, I'm training a lot of people, and 
they're they're constantly like I say, I'm really tired. Well, let's take a break. They're, no, you are you going to shovel the coal? It's an old saying. Are you going to yep. shovel the coal? Because someone's got to shovel the coal, and keep that oil going. You see, like with, with us in, into the Badlands, my guys found out real quick. We have forty five or fifty belts due that have to be out the door when I get up at seven o'clock on Monday morning after being on set all weekend. And if those don't go out, that TV show, that that episode doesn't film. You're talking millions of dollars that are down and your career. So we all could, of the career, not yeah, just part of the career, no, all of the career. Bye bye, I'm gonna go work at McDonald's. Um, and they fit, you, you get, that's the other thing when you own that most people don't realize when you own, you go, hey, it'd be really cool to own my own company. <laughs> you are putting not only your entire life investment on the line for this, but your reputation. And I was joking when I said, you know, you take the jump screaming. You really honestly do. Because if you sit there and look at that edge and keep looking at it, look at it, you're never going to do it. A lot of times we're looking at the edge and something will come up and go, bye. And that's that's not always a bad thing either. Sometimes no. you just don't need to take that leap. Well, at one point, it be, I, I was doing math. I'm very good with math, actually. I'm not. <clears throat> and we it was costing <laughs> me money to have a day job. Yep. That time, because I was, I was making enough selling stuff, I was wait a minute. The day job hour, that extra 40 hours, I could make X amount, which is more than I'm making at, including... Taxes, you know, insurances. Got, got to think about these things. Space in the house, and you know, everything costs something. We, we think of you know, ribbons not costing anything. No, they cost a quarter of a penny, mm -hmm. or they cost X amount. And you've got to. I actually my ribbons and all my stuff. There's a little price in front of every. You pull a D ring out, you know, this D ring is three dollars. This D ring is fifty. And you think that sounds easy, but as as just an artist. You don't think about that. Nope. For me, my business yeah. manager is my wife. She comes in and points out this costs this much, this costs this. It's like a say he comes in and says, Hey, I want you to tool a fall river. I don't think about okay, it's gonna take this amount of time yeah. at this at this amount for me to do it, plus the materials. As an artist, I'm like, okay, I need to tool this, I'm gonna have to draw this, okay, I can make it really look badass here. So yeah, we're not focused on the like finances. Right here. Yeah. And I don't think about the money. That's not where my brain is. I'm an artist. That's a real quick way to the poorhouse. It took me a decade of just being insane about it and everyone calling me, oh, you're an asshole. Aren't you supposed to be an artist? This is why I'm still eating. Yeah. Um, and because I don't have uh, my ex wife and I work with a lot. We're good friends, actually. I, I got the house, she got the wife. Um, so. <laughs> they're, both, they're both sweethearts. We love both of them. My, my ex-wife, my ex this is great because um, someone will say, oh, oh, you and your, your nasty old ex-wife, she's like pushing 16 has bulletproof abs. Yeah. And and I was she track she, She's almost 60. You've got a fucking thing. She's Sorry, worth three 20 year olds. Damn! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she's on. I know. She, 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 you know, she, you know, she, she's Damn! I know. <laughs> But uh, we were working insanely hard and to, to keep that, that going. I had to do the math. Uh, and I didn't want to do that. I don't want to do the math. Math is hard. Big one, shit. one of the things math is, math, math is not just math hard. Math sucks. It's inconvenient. It tells, you yeah, it, it tells you no money. It tells you no. Oh, yeah. Math is not a Tell me one thing. Math is hard. Yes. Let's go shopping. Yeah, exactly. uh, <laughs> like for us, what we do at ASI is when I build a piece, or Zombie builds a piece, or Lulu builds a piece, I don't price my stuff. I can't price my stuff mm -hmm. as an artist. Because if I build really a said hat, to me as an artist, I'm like, man, I can see every mess up in that. I can see everywhere I screwed up, $10. Yeah, right. And then you hear the explosion coming from behind <laughs> from the little blue haired angry lady. Did you just <laughs> what? The door slam. Yeah. Are you <laughs> strawberry flavored crack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, that's, that's funny. funny. That's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so the that's best thing, <laughs> the best thing we do with ASI is the second that we are done building said item, it immediately goes to the person who's in charge of doing the math and the, the putting a price on it because we can't we'll undersell ourselves as artists twice on Sunday, three times during the week. I had to learn not to do that. Yeah, and what, how I did it? I, you want to know how to do it? Go on Etsy, go look for comparable things, see what the market will bear. That's the other problem with yeah. this. I you wanna know I make I make giant robots. I made that best I made all kinds of cool stuff. My highest profit margin piece yep. is a little button, yep. a pin that says some shitty thing I said to somebody once. 
Because, <laughs> yes, a lot of them. <laughs> because to tool something like this, if we actually put in the price for time that we, we work, materials, blah, 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 you're talking about a thousand dollar piece. That's all great and good, but it's going to sit on my table and collect dust because ain't nobody going to be able to afford that in the con world. Yep. And especially if you're living off conventions, you're dealing with con kids. These are, these are kids who have either got money from mommy and daddy or they've saved up their money. Yeah, it's and, a matter of knowing the market. And, and, and it's, it, 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 we, we came to this. It's a matter of sitting there and finally realizing, okay, here's this line in the sand. Here's my profit. Here's my stuff sitting on the table. How bad do you want to get your stuff off the table? Okay, that means I got to make more to make for this one piece. But it's either that or this stuff sits on my table and my table becomes a museum. That's that's gonna lay you in the poorhouse. We're not gonna eat. We're gonna become skinny little white boys. And people want people when they tell us, "Hey, you should make. You should make." They, they want a museum. They yeah. want you to make incredible things. They're never gonna find. We can never. I get a lot of. Well, I'd love to buy something from brute force, but you never. Get, I can never afford it. And I'm like, there's a reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want you. I want you yeah. to build a Matilda. Uh, you can't afford that. Yeah. So that's why I make. I balance it out. I have a bunch of pieces. I still like. Everyone still gets value for their money. Yep. I'm not gonna sit there and, and sell, you know, here's a leather scrap uh, that I put a pin and back on. It's, you know, they're, they're saying the things no one else is doing. I put a nice little graphic on there and everything, and that is those things there pay my gas for every trip I go. On that, on that, on that note, what proved that to me was Suzo with those damn must leather mustaches on a stick. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. She made <laughs> these mustaches on a stick for you know people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we're like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Dollar for people piece. who can't grow mustaches. Yeah, for people who can't grow mustaches and ladies who want to hang out with the boys. And ladies who want to grow Who want to be in the smoking <laughs> session. Tobias. <laughs> to buy it. Um, no, that's me. So we're like, okay, wait, whatever. Wait, wait, wait. Can I do a photo shoot in one of your corsets? Yeah. Yeah, shit, yeah. Wait, I want, I, no, actually, I need your, sure. I, I want to recreate the Sarah Hunter. Uh, oh, <laughs> you start steampunk and she's right there. I want that. Photo. Mechanical Okay, there's an image I will never get out of my head. Ever. <laughs> This is Pretty strong steampunk. You said it today. Uh, um, but Suzo proved to us we're like these, these these stupid things we're never gonna sell because we made the the, the 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 mustaches out of our scrap. So out of these you know huge pieces of leather, our scrap that we're throwing on the ground, Suzo's coming over grabbing and making mustaches. I'll be goddamn if she wasn't out selling us with these stupid mustaches <laughs> on a stick for a dollar. And I'm like, okay, I stand corrected. I will come over here and eat crow. You, you and don't knock the dollar two dollar sale. Mm -hmm. Not even a little. You know, because that one dollar and that two dollar will add up quickly on top of that for your reputation. You I've just made that person's time. day. Mm -hmm. And don't think that I mean all of us roll our eyes at, you know, um, Branding and that sort of thing. Oh, I've cool. told Thomas a long time ago, bitch, I will be the NASCAR of Steamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Him and I will walk in and fucking driver suit. Pardon my French, I'm sorry. Walk, I'm air pirate. Walk in in driver suits with, you know, and today in Everything, the yeah. the Venezuela airship, we did really good today. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really waiting with cosplay getting more popular. Like, you'll have, like, the dude with his epic sword. And then he turns the sword and it's all these logos. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 is, this is in the process of happening with me. There's electroluminescent paint. You ever heard of it? Yeah. yeah. One of the companies that developed one of the better ones. I, I made a joke about, how, wow, you can make the armor from, uh, wow, that glows like this. I'm already... Oh, yeah. That's the project we're working on. If you make wow armor without me, I'm gonna... This is wow and armor <laughs> that you turn it on and it doesn't just shine. It radiates light to look like magic armor. And but your sword will say the company's name on the side. <laughs> and on that note, we know we know beyond a shadow of a doubt, and if you guys as artists, if, if you don't know this, you will know this, you will be called sellouts. Yeah. And we'll call you every name in the damn Funny. book. But what I want you to do, if Except that happens, successful. Yeah. If that happens with you as artists, I want you to go look up a little band called Green Day. <laughs> um and I think Bobby said it the best. He's like, you know what? People might call us sellouts, but it takes money to do what I'm doing. We've been, ASI's been called sellouts because we were working with Tandy Leather. We were working at AMC. Yeah, how he's dare been, you work with your suppliers? Yeah, he's been called company. a sellout. <laughs> <with other suppliers. laughs> yeah. The thing is, is people want, and I, I get the whole, we want artwork for artwork to be artwork. 
But somebody's got to pay for that crap. And if you don't want to pay for it, you get to go talk to the angry blue-haired lady. <laughs> There's no kids in here. Who controls my nookie. I'm not pissing that off. I, fo I, follow, I follow the True doom real. philosophy that the spice must flow. <laughs> and if I drop $1,000 on something that's not paid for, that spice quits flowing. This man gets real angry. <laughs> which means my crew is going to get real angry. That's, yep. So if you're going to do this and you have the chance to get sponsors, screw what everybody else says. Especially if you're doing leather work, you're doing prop builds, because it's not cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows Yaya yeah, yeah, Hot? No, of Yaya yeah, yeah, Hot. I've met Yaya. I've talked to her and everything. I like Yaya. Yeah, yeah. I like Yaya. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I talk to her. Can I talk to her when she's not... Yeah, yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah, she's, hi. Yeah, yeah, when she's a person, it's when great. When she's a, per yeah. a person, it's <laughs> not. Almost, not. almost yeah. all the famous people you know, who even if you don't like them, first of all, um, <clears throat> I live in Europe a lot of the time, so I have a really shitty attitude. Now, I'm not going to get better. I'm like 50 some odd years old. I'm not going to see the light. You don't live in Europe. We've been, trying to tell <laughs> you that. We've been trying to tell you that for years. But <laughs> Americans love an underdog no matter how much an asshole that underdog is. It, as long as you think you're supporting an underdog, he, that person's right. Doesn't matter if they molest kittens. This is but they're cool. they're pirates. <laughs> they're not That's not me. <laughs> it drives me crazy. So anyone, you know who's supposed to be successful? People you don't know. And people are shitty about it. And I've had, uh, I've got friends I've known, people I've known for 30 years are like, well, we're not all this. And I admit, I'm not the best about people's insecurities. I'm like, ha ha ha, you're right, you're not that. Why are you talking? No, and then they get mad, and I go, no, I've known you for 30 years. I'm still talking to you. Shut up. Um, but it's going to happen. If you get successful, there's a target on your head. Yep. I mean, it's oh, that's they love it. About, Whoa, yeah. that's real. Yeah, <laughs> and they just, and they love it. They're like, uh, uh, there, there are people here who are going to be offended. you got to watch it. They're, they're like, oh, my God, I get to take them down. That gets me so close. <laughs> they, they love it. That, that was weird. <laughs> that was never do that when I was sitting next to you. <laughs> Dude. It becomes the biggest joy in their world to bring you down. Because working hard is hard. Mm -hmm. But bringing you down is easy. All they have to do is say something crappy yep. and get a bunch of other pathetic MFs to go on and say something crappy with them. Oh, and they will. They'll attack you. If, you. if you start to become successful, it'd be it. Any of the oh. sub, any of the subgenres, be it steampunk, be it cyberpunk, be it goth, any community, any of those communities. It the is, second it, it, that you own your own company and you start to be successful, you will get attacked. Um, count on. It. So, a get a thick skin. Know that you have a mission to accomplish. That mission is what you. Yes, sir. Uh, I just have a quick question. Yeah, sir, you were just telling me, but no, you good. Talk about for a second learning to say no because success. Bingo. I wish, I yeah. wish I was good at that. I mean, I understand, we understand that that is the first word you learn as a as a toddler. Um, I have that problem. Because, oh, I'm so good at saying no. <laughs> and I know most of most of us are this way. Um, having been a former DJ and doing all that stuff, and then becoming a maker, my fans are everything to me. So it doesn't matter if I just came off of a two hour DJ set. There's a couple things I want. I want to piss. I want to bake, and I want a Mountain Dew. Not in that order. <laughs> but if you turn that corner, and that fan is standing there, you damn well better give them the time. That's and you're, for real. And you're right. There's a point where you have to, when someone says, hey, can you build this, or can yeah. you do this for me, that the N-O word needs to come into your to your vocabulary. And I'm, I'm really bad about this. Really, really bad about this. My wife is much better at it. Um, <laughs> She puts her hand on my arm and goes, no. <laughs> I, I have pushed a, a, a lot of people. Yeah, like, he did a TV show. You know, he was on TV show. He did, he did TV. So suddenly you get this influx. And I have, because I don't like these people, when they, when they overwhelm me, I push. I go, no, but there's this guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want laser printing? You need to call Thomas Williford at Brute Force. Uh, this is your man right there. Yeah, he's, he's your But you guy. gotta keep calling him. Call him constantly. Otherwise, he's answer the phone. I, 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 Wheeler, I hand, I hand work off Wheeler. There's one guy in the world 
Well, I hand work off to just to be a jerk, and I do. <laughs> and I, I say, tell him Thomas sent you, and I hand him brilliant work that makes. This is where Game of, of Thrones comes into play. This is Game of Thrones type shit. Tell him ASI sent you. His, his name is his name is JW. <laughs> the last was a little. Okay. Uh, be nice. I, be no, no, nice. Be nice. Okay. He hates me with a passion bordering on insanity. I don't hate him at all. So I send him work. <laughs> <laughs> I send him to him all the time, and I never say anything mean about him. I'm not saying anything mean now. I send him work. I would also argue that you don't always have to say now specifically. You, say maybe. you be you maybe. I'll uh, think about or it. Or you become uh, it's it's the art of the compromise How and much? being able to control and negotiate what you're talking about. Like, oh, you want this product. You want all these bells and whistles. Well, this would not work for you, I assure you. Because you're not a maker and you just want an actual lightsaber, and I can't do that. Now, also, with that in point, keep in mind, like when we got hired to do Into the Badlands, um, when Greg called us the first time, I thought this dude was psycho crazy. A, I didn't know he was from Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a real sticking point on the B, case. I didn't know the, the caliber of props master he was, but he sounded crazy. We're on the road. I'm cutting across six lanes of Oklahoma City, downtown Oklahoma City Highway, to get to my exit right there. I'm on the phone with a dude from Hollywood. I need this, this, and this. So Zombie and Lulu actually designed goggles in the hotel room to send him. We didn't know who this dude was. We thought he was... That shit crazy. And that's what got us into the Badlands. So when you're contacted by some of these people, you have to gauge as a business owner, just because they sound nuts like Thomas, um, they might be somebody who is getting ready to make your your, your, your career. If you're waiting for you a saint to come up and... <laughs> and, 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 and we are in your domain. The body of Christ. Okay. And if you're waiting for that My perfect person who has no me. past, who's never done anything wrong, who's all the, who everyone loves to come up and give you a job, yeah, you have fun with that. I don't, I've never seen it. I've, I've, got, I've got a t kid's TV show. Someone wants me to be a, on a kid's TV show with, ah, with a robot. I got two words for you, or three words for you. Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Yankovic. There you and go. They want me to do this <laughs> TV show. This guy has hit on every female creature he's been in. You know, no. no. Uh, excuse me, you can also point here. Yeah. <laughs> now, this guy is, is, is sleaze. You know I a, love you, too. He's I know. He's in a shirt. And my girlfriend's but like, okay. I don't want you to work with him because he's sleazy. It's like... His money works. Yeah. It, oh, he, he's His gonna, money is less sleazy. He's got, he's got the ear of someone at Netflix. Yep. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna. his British ass is going to sit there and, you know... Be the and, director of the show, and that's and that's the deal. And that's the deal as being a business owner, especially in the steampunk world or in any what, any genre. Yeah. As that biz, as that figurehead, anything that I say, anything that Thomas says, anything Faya says, reflects on our company. For for Thomas, it's him and his lovely lady are going to get screwed if he says something wrong. To buy the same way. For me, I have a crew. It's the only way I can do what I do. So you have to realize that, yeah, we rub each other and mess with each other here, but you get us in front of the guys who have the, the checkbooks. No bullshit. No bullshit. Yeah. Because if I say something wrong, if Thomas says something wrong, if I look at him wrong, we just lost a hundred thousand dollar contract. Yeah, don't over talk. Yeah. Dear God. We're, we're here, we're <laughs> Especially here. his time. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm here with you guys. This is part of the. Our badges say entertainer on yep. Okay? Of course I'm over talking. But when you I'm at that business, they have they don't need to know anything about my social life. If they come up and say, hi, I'm in a poly relationship, that's very nice. Anyway, back to my back, back to back to yeah, what we talked about. You know, I don't sit there, they're not my friend. Maybe later on that happens, you get to be on their whole life. Uh, do you know that? So let me describe what happens when this goes horribly wrong. Oh no. <laughs> so we got the contract to do Dickens on the Strand in Galveston, Texas. Big 40 plus year event, yada, 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 yada. ASI was still new. We were in our second or third year. I, I'm a Galveston kid from Texas. Oh my God, this is Dickens on the Strand. All is good. The horns are blowing. The Pope shows up. Everything's <laughs> happening. You know. So we go to our second meeting with the Galveston Historical Foundation. Okay? Brand new company. 
brand new company. So we're sitting there, we're talking about what we're gonna do for Dickens on the Strand, and all of a sudden, the head of the Galaxy Historical Society says, so we saw a little video. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Now, we had one of our crew members do the Thunder Down Under. He's an Australian character, and he put a, a, a lightning ball on a cod piece that you could touch and make the lightning do things. And so he brought it out of the convention, and we videotaped it. Because that's funny. Because <laughs> that's what we did. Get the stick out of him. And so all of a sudden, Evie and I are there. We're all business in, in business mind because this is a very lucrative contract. And now she says, like, so I was like, what video did you see? I'm thinking, okay, it's one of the cool videos. Mm -hmm. What is this thunder from down under? Oh, <laughs> and the heart crashes. Oh, I just lost. How am I going to tell my crew I just lost a major contract? Luckily, they had a sense of humor. They thought it was the funniest shit they'd ever seen. <laughs> Thank God. So as, Evie, as Evie is finishing the deal, I'm outside smoking five cigarettes. Like, <laughs> yeah, at once, by the way. <laughs> In my case, they were like, oh, this is a great idea. We love your, your thing. We're going to have this character. And then they called us up and said, yeah, we just got, because uh, my ex-girlfriend, Sarah, and I, yeah, we just got uh, the cover of Penthouse. Yeah, you did. Yep. Yeah, you did. Is that Sarah on the cover? No! Like, oh, it says Sarah Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> and I've Literally, they said, we'll get back to you. And I never heard from I've you. got that copy. You can't miss it. Yeah, you can't yeah. miss it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good. That wasn't well, just me bragging, but. I know. Yeah. <laughs> not that just. Was him. That was a, just. <laughs> it was a little bit of brag. But, but, a little yeah. bit of brag. Humble brag. Yeah. We're still air pirates. We're still aye, air aye. Air. Um, so, when you own your own company in the subculture world, realize that every single thing you do, and I mean everything you do, has repercussions to everybody you talk to that you, even the person you didn't even think about who comes up to you on the street that you know, one is real like i've had i don't remember I, meeting this person i don't remember the impression i might have made on yeah, this person <laughs> i've had i've had the lead producer for pirates of the caribbean walk up to my table and start talking to my people i'm in the back smoking a cigarette drinking wine and eating food mm -hmm. i hear the voice turn i was like oh no! <laughs> you know, got a sandwich in hand. Yeah, it's like a sandwich cigarette goes flying. It's like, I know who that is. Because um, dumbass goes to some world. Yeah, because one of my guys is like, they could end up calling him dumbass stupid guy, is what Evie and all them call him. Like, do, do you realize who that is? <laughs> oh, no. Um, no. Let, let me show you a YouTube video. Th that's the producer for the Pirates of the Caribbean. Good job, guys. Um, <laughs> Proud of you. Every, every single thing you do. Even all the way down to the interactions between Thomas and I are going to be looked at, dissected, and in the steampunk community, there's this rumor out there that Thomas and I hate each other. That is the farthest thing from the damn truth that's out there. But what's I great mean, about it is you can play out of it. I, I said, call me. <laughs> yeah. Because someone had written something saying that I had said something really shitty about everything. Oh, I know. Everything. I know. Whoa. I was like, whoa, I don't have that much time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when that came out. That was awful. That, some of it, I, was like, I, got, I got a phone call 10 minutes later from someone. I'm, I am, I'm in the parking lot of Bed Bath & Beyond, <laughs> and here's my phone ring. Um, because every single thing you do as a business owner is going to reflect on your business. Oh, this, this by the way, I had two TV shows lined up because of the other TV show. And they said, not interested anymore because of this. Yep. And I've had people say, I think I know who did it. And I tell them, do not tell me who wrote Because we'll all go get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know my limits. I'm a jovial pacifist. I will pass my fist right full through of something. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I'm, uh, in, I'm in the right conditions. But I called him and he was like, yeah, they said you said this. I said, there's one problem with that. He goes, yeah, you would say that to me. He said, <laughs> I am not a shy, retiring flower about how I feel. If I didn't like you, you pretty much know. And so at that point, he's like, yeah, this sucks. And so we've been fine. I'm going, I'm going into Bed Bath & Beyond to go buy sheets. Yeah. I'll call you later. Yeah, uh, exactly. My wife is Good warning luck. at me. Yeah, exactly. Um, so be ready for that when you own your own company. You are going to get attacked. Avery right here on the front row makes badass lamps. And he's going to eventually, somebody's going to turn around because he makes really cool crap and attack him just for the simple fact that oh, he's successful. Yeah, he, just for the simple fact that he's successful. So know that going into owning your own company, 
that people are going to hate on you and you've got to get a thick skin. Haters make you famous. Yeah. Oh. Hate, any, any bad press is still press. Still press. Um, no. you, you've seen Lord of the Rings, all that type of stuff, right? Right. So I got to go to New Zealand and hang out with, uh, this is not just name dropping, but I did, uh, with Richard Taylor. I got this guy's the, the cool stuff. Richard Taylor owns Weta Workshops who did all the stuff for Lord of the Rings. Their shop. I, I, people come to my shop and go, wow. I go to his shop and go, I am unworthy. I'm going to <laughs> yeah, my like, shop sucks. There's all a 20-foot right. dinosaur right there. I'm like, I just shoot me right in the face. Um, and he told me something. We were, we were driving through the mountains and everything. And I'm talking about motorcycles, and I'm talking about how I used to skydive, and I, all this stuff. He goes, and, 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 and all this dangerous shit. He goes, I don't do anything dangerous. He goes, I take very good care of my health, everything. And I was like, why? He goes, I've got 200 people who rely yeah. on me. Your health, and I am a big criminal on this thing. I have screwed myself. Uh, I had, uh, this is not well known, it's not a secret. I had a coronary incident mm. last year. My heart's in perfect condition. He said, the guy said, yeah, you know, you're, you're in great condition. You've got like five years. I said, why? He goes, you gotta change something. Because you're, gonna, you're dumping nitrous into a, into a Maserati. You're, 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 you're in great shape for, you know, wow, you did great. But you're gonna die. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you're kidding me. He goes, no, you're going to die. Um, and I'm, I'll write that, do you need that in writing? I'm like, let me check on the list of, holy shit. Um, yeah. So yeah. And, and it's not just your health. It's your business. Who's that supporting? Who are you working with? Do consider these things. When you, take, when you say no, sometimes I don't say no because I'm greedy as I really want the money. Um, Same. And, and I love things. I want to afford them. I like toys. Set. I want to afford them. I like margaritas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and know. so take care, of, take care of that. You know, yeah, yeah. And I'll take care of those health days. One I, of the secrets that the bath with the candles, all that shit. There's me. Okay, there's an image I'll never get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't put it on Instagram. Instagram. I need more wine. Uh, uh, French water, sir. French water. French water. French water. <laughs> also, one of the things I got from White talking to those guys when asking them, hey, how did you, you know what give me some secrets on what you guys did. Don't be a don't be afraid when you start your company to downsize. You are gonna expand. You're hiring on artists, you've got a project to get done, you're gonna have multiple artists there, yada, 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 yada. Don't be afraid to have to lay people off when you have to shrink back down. I was gonna go to work at Weta like this month, and they said, yeah, that, that contract fell through, it could be three months before we, and what they have is, the cool thing they have is, they have a little production department that produces their figurines, all that stuff, and that's what keeps the constant cash flow yeah. when they're not doing the record. Uh, I, by the way, answer your freaking phone. Yes. Mortal Engines, I didn't answer a phone call. That's Ooh. why I didn't work on Mortal Engines. Ooh. Same way with us for Pirates 5. Yeah. Oh. It was just, uh, oops, I'll get back to that because I don't recognize the freaking number. You're not going to get back. I'm that. real bad at that. Yeah. <laughs> and we're, I, I, I have fired people. I, I occasionally get people work for me. I hired this young lady. Oh, I'm working with this and blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, give me your phone number. I'll call you. She says, I don't talk on the phone. I said, never mind. Click. Yeah, done. I, I know you have a social anxiety. Let me check if I care. I can't. I can't afford to care. You know, yes, social you anxiety miss, is very fashionable. You miss that one phone yeah. call from a, from a prop master. <laughs> yeah. They have a list. They're calling down that list. And if you don't answer, they're going to the next one. You'll never get that call again. Yeah. My ex-girlfriend wouldn't answer the phone. Yes, sir. Um, you talked a lot about the banking part of it as a business, and obviously um, there's not a lot of clergy in steampunk. Right. True. Um, but we have the Pope. We're at the top of the level. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when I put this together, I looked at, um, you could throw a stick and get four uh, airship captains, three navigators, and a couple ship surgeons. And so... Long story short, I ended up going this route. And it is, a, I'm finding out, a very unique and recognizable character. Mm -hmm. And so over the last five years now, I'm finding that I'm becoming more and more recognizable. And uh, the, the reason for the Patreon page isn't that I'm creating, it's the, because I'm being asked to attend events. You're maintaining. Yeah. You're but John what I'm just going to cover is, I'm sorry, uh, you know, four days in a four or five days in a hotel is, you know, like this weekend, going to run about thousand dollars. It's money. Yeah. 
I'm retired. So my landlord loves to see my rent check every month. Yeah. You know, I can afford to lose a little bit on the eating end of it. But, and, and my Patreon page is based on the character pretty much. It's just I asking think, for a monthly prize of a dollar. I think I, I know where you're going. And on this, you have to make a line in the sand that you're going to say, I am not willing to pay to play. If you want me there in this costume, doing this thing for you. You're dragging my ass there. You're paying me. Now keep in mind, some of these people, especially promoters for right. cons and that sort of thing, they're gonna try and give you the brick wall. That's right. not a brick wall, it's foam. The second that you mm -hmm. give them resistance back and say, you know what, I don't do this for free. You need to pay me, because this is what it's gonna cost me to haul my ass from New Orleans to Tucson with my crew. This is what I have to have. And be willing to say, if you can't pay that, I completely understand. No well, the value, minister is right. shooting myself in the foot. Well, the, both of us. And not having then there, any. There, you've heard of Dragon Con, right? Yeah. You know, a little party with 30,000 of my closest friends. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, Atlanta, so I can Georgia, do Dragon Con. Because I can yeah. pay to go to Dragon Con. I can get paid to go to Big River. Yep. Which, and we're, and we're all going to be a Big River. We're going to be a Big so. River. And it's, it's, oh, wow. You know, like, <laughs> do not pay to play. If, if, if you've got, you get to a certain point, you're at a certain point where we recognize you at an event, people do pay for personality. They pay, and they pay for, uh, to have your piece of scenery. And then that's not a bad thing, that's a good thing. You know, I wish I could be scenery. My girlfriend is scenery. I'm <laughs> scenery. She's very scenery. scenery. Yeah, you are scenery. Sorry. So, you yeah. can, and if at some point, you now have scenery. <laughs> wow. Well, one of the biggest compliments. Oh, shit. <laughs> One of the biggest compliments I had was somebody was talking about uh, yeah, making so up characters you really and costumes hair. and stuff at a convention in a panel, and they said, and then you have the iconic people, you know, like the uh, steampunk Iron Man and the steampunk Hulk, and it's like having me and Thomas Williford in the same sentence is like, thanks, boss. You know what? I could put that suit on anybody, and they'd be more famous than me. Trust me. And, and here's. There, there is a certain point, and you're going to be uncomfortable doing it, because most of us are. Let's let let us not lie here. Every single swinging person in this damn room is an introvert. We're all nerds. Um, okay. Nah. Shut up. Uh, well, I'm glad that you hit ninety percent. You hit him. Um, but the thing is, is at some point you need to realize the fact that your name and your star power for lack of a better word, right. is putting butts in seats. It has right. value. Yeah. It's and different if, if I'm a band, I come in, I play, and I'm done. Yeah. But as soon as I get out of the car, put on the costume, I don't even get in the gate, and they're always, can I get a photo? And that's and that's, and that's, and that's, and that's the way that's it is with, for. That's the way it is with Airship Isabella, that's the way it is with Ford's Leather and Thomas Wood, that's the way it is with Tobias. Is this, you, you need to realize that your name and your image is worth something and it's really difficult for most nerds, because we're used to hanging out in the shadows, right. to step up and say, yes, this I, I am worth this. You are going to pay me to show up and do this. Because let me tell you right now, promoters are like sharks. The yep. second they smell weakness, they they're going to go over you. Humility is for people who deserve it. Sorry, that sounds horrible. And I've had people say, well, Thomas is an arrogant I, yeah, people say But here's the thing. I, have you ever heard of it? Go on the internet. Find a place where I said my stuff is better than anyone else. Or he has I'm best. It's never I, happened. I present, look what I've done. You're the judges. I, I don't judge other people's artwork. Because that's not my job. That rings up there. They did everybody think Cedric Whitaker and Thomas Williford hate each other. Yeah. No, we don't. No. I, 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 you know whose job it is to judge art? And we do. You. You people. You judge. It's, it's mostly, job. you judge by doing this. That's the most, this is the most quantitative way. My lovely artwork looks great. My parents put it on the refrigerator. When someone who worked hard is willing to take out money they earned yep. and go, thank you. They just thanked you for making that piece of art. And that's hard to get your head around because you because we've all been told that, that this, this myth that artists is supposed, it's supposed to be all about the art. If that's the case, have a beautiful home. Yes. Have, but don't bring it here because you're not going to sell it. You need to be presenting your art. This is you are the face of your stuff. That's you know, and, and that's why do you, 
I wanted to sh- cut all my hair off. And my girlfriend's like, no, no, no. Because that part of the present, and she convinced me, part of the presentation is, you're that Thor-looking asshole. <laughs> okay. Trust me, Mr. Angry Bald Man. I, and I, 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 I recently just lost like 20 pounds or anything, because I was decided, you know, I'm 50, so I'm going to be fat and happy. Screw this. And then why? I used to work out all the Thank time. You. And she's like, no, you're that guy. Okay, I'll Question, question. Anyway, shut up. So, um, you know, we're talking about, uh, about reputation and everything. Do you yeah. bother having a social media presence you outside of the Lord? Shh. No, no, no. I mean outside of, of who you are up here. Okay. okay. Personal. So, so, what, so what we do. I no longer have a personal life. Yeah. Is, no, no, that's yeah. For, for us in ASI, separate. there is, and I'm going to say a name here, and if any of you repeat it, I will shoot you in the kneecaps. Um. <laughs> On social media, you have to have that separation. If you want it. If you want, but I know a lot of people who come in and close down their personal pages because people find out, oh, this person is this person, and, and now we have stalkers <laughs> on our personal my, pages. My, my, interest, my background is in teaching, and in school, everybody, when I was learning to be a teacher, everybody's like, look, you should shut down your personal social media presence if you can't control it, because you're going to go on there, you're going to say something, and then you're going to get fired. Or you're going to get censured from your school, mm-hmm. and it sounds like what y'all were talking because your reputation is everything. And see, oh, that's yeah. that's it. Like talking about something very similar. So if you control it, then like, okay, not me, but my wife. She is all ASI, very politically correct. This is Airship Isabella. You go on the God help you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good because, place to be because you say Trump rules. The nukes are inbound. <laughs> but that that is on her personal page. I don't have it with me. Um, He's not lying. lying. So <laughs> the thing I think what you're doing, the other thing you have to you have to you have to have the personality that you're willing to stay up and say, okay, you want to attack me as a special snowflake, which I hate special snowflakes by the way. I bought a flash from him yesterday just for a single special snowflake. But, um, but she's so sweet. Yeah, screw her. Um, you know what happens if you eat too much sugar? Yeah. Um, having that personal page and that business page is a lot of damn work. You have to put that firewall up. I don't go on my, my personal page and post political stuff. A, because I don't want to type that much. My wife... <laughs> um, Your wife is also a writer. She's a writer. Um, also, I don't want to hear anyone else's political opinions regarding my political opinions. And I, it's a yeah, lot of work. And for her, but, she enjoys that confrontation. She likes to be. For me, if I'm going to if I'm going to have that confrontation, you and I are going to be face to face and nose to nose. Yeah, I've got I, I'm a, there might be some drunk. I'm a born and bred Southern boy. We're, we're going to talk about, oh, bless your heart. <laughs> oh, no. I am a blunt instrument when it comes to these things. That's because you're a carpetbagger. Why, why did you name it? Holy shit. All of my social media goes through at least one other person before I post. And, it's, and my, mine too. Yeah. If, I, if I'm posting something, before I hit send, my wife or one of the other crew members is looking over my shoulder and you might not want to send that. My, my That's the same thing she's like, about I hear yeah. clicking. Everything you say can be helpful. <laughs> because once you yep. hit that send button, that shit ain't coming back. And, and people people love screen capping. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's from oh, I had my shit sent I have, back an, I have an entire folder of screen caps from him. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. And I think about that when I go to post something. I go, hey, this what am I saying? And, and to give you an idea, and, and my wife taught me this. One of the things that I do is if I'm going to type something on the internet as Captain Whitaker, I will type it, I will put it off to the side for 24 hours, then I will come back and look at it. Do I still hate Thomas Williford this much to post it? <laughs> yes. No, actually I don't. All right. No, he pissed in my Cheerios, but he's right. You know? Um, cool. I'm what? <laughs> I don't want to ever, ever, ever say that again. <laughs> Like to get your phones out, sucks to be you. Uh, <laughs> but, you <laughs> that's the thing is, if and as a business owner, you put yourself even further out in public. You hire employees. Oh dear God, because every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And so if, if I employees. if I make it if I make a screwed up decision, you know who it affects. Success is the greatest form of censorship. 
Yeah, it really is. I, we can, I can sit there and say, people say, oh, I love that you say everything you want to five minutes. You want. And I'm like, five. really? Because I don't say the crap I want. <laughs> I've got pages, because I'm a writer too, pages and pages of crap I wanted yep. to say in a folder. <laughs> a <dense>. is safe. <laughs> safe for me. Not sending. You know, you know where your my private stuff is? Jay, you don't want to do it again. <laughs> you want to hack me? You got to find it. All right, that's what she said. Yeah. I have that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, it, it, doesn't he live, said it. it doesn't live on my hard drive. That's what she my said. My private too. stuff is, is, is How much here money? with me. <laughs> the bidding starts at 50. Right here, 55. I'll you get it. Over 60. 60, 60, 60, 60. You gotta want it more than I do. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you sleep. So we got five minutes left. Anybody <laughs> have questions? Yes, sir. Yeah, I just thought of another question, but since you're talking about the social media and stuff like that, sure. one of the things that you can do that if you are bothered by uh, stalkers and things of that type, <laughs> on Facebook, there's no rule that says you have to use your own name. Bingo. And, and, you and, and on that them. point, for my males in the audience, everybody disses and, and attacks the male stalkers. The female stalkers oh, are, the are a thousand times worse. <laughs> All right, I've had two of my boys run out of a, a elevator, run to the green room, run past the green room guard, oh, no. and call the captain as they dive under the couch because of one girl. Nice. So even as even as a gentleman, oh, wow. realize there's a certain line once, especially once you start getting where your name is out there, your face is out there. Doesn't matter if you're married. Don't matter whatsoever. Those stalkers, gentlemen, are going to come after you too. And a lot of times, those girls are worse than, than the male stalkers because they don't quit. The guys are also. Awesome. I am. <laughs> the guys, <laughs> the guys are crazy too. An image thing. I'm at conventions. I'm flirty and stuff like that to an extent. I'm never alone with anybody. Yep. I'm never. I it, I barely go to the bathroom by myself. Yeah. But <laughs> so, even when I'm even when I'm single. You want to know about interns? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm I interns for you too. I don't sleep with you. Hold or well. fool around with anybody at a convention. Nope. You know, if it lasts outside the convention, we make friends later. Yeah. I don't, because you know that reputation. When I was younger. I went there, that was my hunting ground. I was yeah. young, but you know, I mean, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yes, sir. So, some of the best prices then to get pricing for your products, you mentioned Etsy and you mentioned um, Etsy, eBay, um, all the, and there's worse of And then also, also look where you're here. getting ready to sell it at. What does the market hold? Yeah. If you're talking collectors, like, okay, my sniper rifle, I've had somebody offer me $10,000 for my sniper rifle. All right, he was a collector. Con kid is not going to be able to afford that. Where are you selling your stuff, and what can that market sustain? Yeah. If you're dealing with con, sorry for no, no, no. If you're dealing with con kids, there's a fixed income there that you're dealing with. And if you go in there at twenty dollars an hour for tooling a, a shoulder pauldron, that's going to cost a thousand dollars for one pauldron. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to stay on your table. Okay, so then further to that, with, with two different types of selling, say a store on the internet mm -hmm. sure. and coming to these mm -hmm. guys, um, which would be the easiest or best or most lucrative to start? I my, think my Etsy pays my mortgage every month. Yeah. yeah. Our online stuff is where, is where we make our money. Because keep in mind, if you come up to me in person, and I'm, I'm going to say a word here. Nobody kill me for saying this. In person, now, pirate, I'm willing to negotiate. We can sit here and talk back to back. And I have more respect for a customer who comes to me and says, you know what? That's $45. I'll give you 40 for it right now. Now we start Now we start the debate. I've done it with him. Yeah, he's done it with me. Tobi or, uh, Thomas has done it with me. You do that. Now, as a seller, I can, I can debate back and forth with you. On the internet, this is what it costs. In a story, I can you know, I'm not going to sit there and debate with a screen. Make yes. me feel weird and funny, and, and I, I don't know. I'm like willing it. to make a deal here too because I want to go to conventions. Yeah, I need to. I want. I want to. Me, Thomas, we want to see that piece of artwork on you. Oh, absolutely. I don't want to see it on my table. I've been looking at it for three yeah. weeks. I, I, I don't, don't want to see it. myself constantly in the name of someone having a cool piece. Yeah, I. I That's I, why Dubai has a piece of has shoulder armor for me. It's true. <laughs> How important is LAIC? 
licensing, making yourself a corporation or something like that? How important is that? Uh, there are there are some. Can, yeah, it's, there's some tax benefits and 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 uh, drawbacks. Very okay, okay. We got we got we're over one minute. Yeah. But here on that note, and then this is my personal thing. If you're building shit, stop. Sorry. If you're building <laughs> stuff, stop. 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 And you're putting Batman and Wonder Woman logos on it. You're putting Bethesda logos on Don't it. Don't sell it online. And you're gonna have a <laughs> and you're gonna sell it. People are gonna buy it. Don't be surprised when that crosshair hits the back of your head and you get a phone call and or a cease and desist letter. But I mean, once you get that cease and desist letter, you cease and desist. But you're also wondering if you're as becoming a, a corporation as opposed to being a sole proprietor. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. You own your company, you need to know what's about to happen to you. <laughs> well, I want to know what's going to happen to you. Let me tell you what's going to happen in the next couple of years. <laughs> well, depending on how things go, I might be sad. I can go see where you track down. Back and talk back home. The other <laughs> side. It's like basically, I figure, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of easier to do here because I'm going to be lower and I'm going to be lower. Yesterday, I had to be selling. But depending on how things go, I might very well. Yeah, and just come and spend my visit or vacation here.